Hi, welcome everyone, and thank you for joining us on our Open Bidding webinar. In this Open Bidding product demo, we will cover the following topics. I'll give a brief walkthrough over developer documents and other resources you will receive upon access to Open Bidding. I'll also go over how to add an Open Bidding ad source in the AdMob front end. Then I'll give an overview of the Open Bidding report. And throughout the demo, I'll also share best practices and address the common pain points that we've heard from some of our partners. Lastly, we'll show you some techniques to help you troubleshoot in case you run into any issues during the setup. Now, let's dive in. To integrate open bidding, an ad mob representative will share developer documents. These will include integration documents for Android, iOS and Unity. Here on my screen, you'll see an example of what the Android developer doc will look like. We also have one for iOS, and we also have one for Unity. Though it should be pretty straightforward, we're here to help with any integration and answer any questions you have about open bidding. There will also be help center guides that will contain useful information should you need further explanation on the open bidding process. These will also include an overview of open bidding, how to add an open bidding ad source, how to manage your open bidding ad sources, and some open bidding frequently asked questions. Once you've implemented open bidding, you should then be able to enable it and see traffic from various demand sources. But please note, you will only see traffic for open bidding once you specifically include the ad units to the open bidding front end. I'll go over this further in our next section. For the purpose of this demo, we have created a test account with test traffic and data. Firstly, navigate to the mediation tab located on the left hand side of the screen. From here, you should be able to see all your mediation group and ad sources. Within the mediation group tab, you can either create a new mediation group by clicking this blue button or go to an existing group to add open bidding. Please note that before adding ad sources to open bidding, Please accept our consent about product usage and make sure you comply with AdMob's policies. I'll go right ahead and click into one of our test mediation groups. Once opened, you can scroll down and see the Ad Sources section. You should now notice the Open Bidding box which sits above the Waterfall section. Mediation Networks and Open Bidding Demand Partners both live in mediation groups. The live auction runs in parallel to that mediation waterfall. You can now add an open bidding ad source simply by clicking here on add ad source. You should now be able to select the open bidding ad source you want to add by clicking the select button. Please notice the three columns. These provide important and essential information as to what is needed to activate each demand source. But please note, you must have a partnership with the open bidding ad source before it can accept any ad requests from your ad mob account. In many cases, this is as simple as creating an account on the ad sources homepage. I'm going to select this demand test source. All you have to do from here is follow the prompt each network gives you. This will vary and it may require placement ID as opposed to a zone ID. Once you add the necessary information, you can go ahead and click done and this will then activate your demand. You will now be able to see this in the front end of your mediation group. To access the new open bidding report, you will need to navigate to the report section on your AdMob front end. Being able to understand the open bidding report is key to both understanding performance and troubleshooting. I'll go right ahead and click on the open bidding report I saved earlier for the purpose of this demo. Here you will now see an example of what the open bidding report looks like in action. The report includes open bidding specific metrics such as bid requests, bids in auction, and winning bids that are not available through other reports. Now notice how these metrics differ from those in the mediation report. For example, match rate, a much watched metric in mediation, is not used. The first step to understanding the open bidding report is realizing that traditional mediation metrics, such as match rate, does not make sense. Rather, we must look at open bidding through different lens of metrics. To begin understanding open bidding metrics, I suggest thinking of them as a funnel. Each open bidding ad request goes through a series of checks that ultimately end up becoming or not becoming a winning bid. 
This demonstrates how an eligible open bidding request goes on to winning an impression. Remember, open bidding also needs to beat the waterfall line items. Much like the other AdMob reports available, the same navigation applies to the new open bidding report. You can filter various selections at the top. This will include app, ad unit, country, format, and ad source. You can find further information on these within the support guide. Once a filter is selected here, the data in the below charts and table will update. You can add further graphs to your selection by navigating to the add chart button located on the top right of the report. For the purpose of this demo, I'll select bids and auction. You can also filter the charts by various dimensions. For example, if you wanted to see earnings broken down by, for example, country, you could add the country dimension. Adding new dimensions further reorganizes and refines the data. If you look at the bottom of the report, you'll be able to see the ad sources data table. This will showcase the various open bidding specific metrics clearly within a table. And this can be super helpful when understanding performance and troubleshooting. Since open bidding works with mediation, the open bidding report does not cover entire account performance. To see a more holistic yield performance, you can still use the mediation report in conjunction with the open bidding report. When using the mediation report with the open bidding report, you should only consider the earnings, eCPM, clicks, click-through rate, and impression metrics. We really recommend not to use match rate or matched requests on open bidding ad sources. They do not make much sense in an open bidding context. Open bidding ad sources tend to have low match rate. This does not reflect on their performance necessarily, but remember, with open bidding, each ad source bids on every request. That is not the case with mediation because we iterate through each line item down the waterfall. So for example, the last line item in a waterfall rarely sees many requests. For further troubleshooting advice, you can access the Authorized Buyer's Support Guide online with the focus on understanding that real-time bid breakout data. Now that we have shown you how to set up open bidding, I'd like to share some best practices when onboarding. First of all, we recommend always including ad sources in open bidding and the waterfall, and this is for a couple of reasons. Doing so creates more competition between open bidding and that mediation waterfall, and more competition typically means higher CPMs. In addition, in the case where open bidding will not work, ad sources will automatically fall back to those mediation line items to help publishers capture the revenue opportunity. Secondly, don't set floors on Google ad units. Since open bidding runs on real-time auction, setting floors will not make it perform better like how it's used in mediation. The only exception is if you do not want to fill low value ads, then it might make sense to do it. To check the floor setting for open bidding, you can go to the ad unit page and make sure from there there's either no explicit floor or that Google optimized floor is not enabled. Thirdly, as mentioned before, please ensure that you have a contract before enabling SDK list exchanges. And lastly, we recommend updating SDKs and adapters frequently. We've continually been making open bidding better, especially over the last few months. We strongly recommend publishers on board with the latest GMA SDK, along with updating any relevant adapters and SDKs for non-SDK list networks. Latest releases often reduce latency, increase show rate, and boost overall performance. Next, I'd like to highlight and discuss a couple of common troubleshooting techniques. So what to do if a specific ad source does not show up within your AdMob account? Within your open bidding onboarding user guide, you will be able to see what ad sources are currently available for open bidding. We recommend first to check that your ad source is on this list. These ad sources will be available for you to select when adding the ad source to your mediation group. And if by some reason you cannot see the ad source within your AdMob front end, and we know that this is available for open bidding, you can of course reach out to your AdMob representative or search many of our support guides online. Next up, what to do if a specific ad source is not bidding at all? Well, in this situation, we recommend to first check that the partnership status for that ad source is active. This can be seen in the mediation tab within the ad sources section. 
By hovering over this question mark, you will be able to further understand what each of these statuses mean and what actions you might need to take. However, if that status is an active partnership, but you notice on your open bidding report that there are very few bids that are in auction after the bid requests, it is recommended that you should contact the ad source and follow up with them on this issue. And that concludes the open bidding product demo. Thanks for watching.